You know, every night don't have to be a five-course meal. You come in, you're tired from working all day, or you just had a hard day. Either way. Sometimes you just want to come in and cook something easy. And last night, Miss Vicki called me, and she had a rough day. And uh, she said she was fixing to make some sloppy joes, and then <laughs> probably going to go to bed. She was so tired. And that got me to thinking, you know, we hadn't had sloppy joes in a long time. And it's a real easy... Uh, throw together meal that uh, you pretty much have everything you probably need to make it because there's just very few ingredients. So what we're going to start with is I've got a pound. Now you can double this recipe if you've got a bunch of kids to feed. But I've got a pound of hamburger meat and you can use ground pork, you can use ground chicken, ground turkey, anything like that. But I've got ground pork or ground beef. And I've got a red bell pepper, and it's about a half a cup. You can put a fourth of a cup, but we like bell peppers. And I've got about a fourth of a cup of diced up onion. And I'm going to put it in here with my hamburger meat. And I'm going to let them saute just a little bit and get, uh, get tender and cut down a little bit. And uh, if we come back, we'll finish it up with just several more easy ingredients. Now if you have any grease in your pan, make sure you drain your grease because you don't want to have greasy sloppy joes. Okay, I want to recap a little bit what we got in the pan over here. I've got a pound of uh, ground beef, about a fourth of a cup of chopped up bell pepper, and a fourth of a cup of diced onions. And I was probably a little bit heavy handed on both of them, but uh, that's about normal. Like I said, you can double the recipe. And I want to show you our ingredients over here. I've got uh, about a teaspoon and a half of uh, mustard. You can use just regular yellow mustard. This is my homemade uh, ground mustard. I've got three-fourths cups of ketchup. I've got a rounded tablespoon of brown sugar. And there's probably about a teaspoon of garlic powder left in here and a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our three-fourths cups of ketchup. About a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of mustard. Tablespoon brown sugar. And I'm going to put what's left in here let me see. That's about a teaspoon, probably. I'm going to stir that up real good. Now, um, when I, anytime I cook hamburger meat, I always put salt and pepper in there. So that's just optional for you too if you want to put salt and pepper in it. But I always put it in my meat when I'm cooking. So I'm going to stir that up. And then we're just going to put a couple dashes of Worcestershire, whatever a dash is, I don't know, but that looks good to me. And we're just going to heat this through probably about 10, 12 minutes. And uh, we're going to come back and we're going to plate us up a good sloppy joes. Because sloppy joes ain't just for kids. Okay, Mr. Brown's buns are toasted now. So, we're going to make him a sloppy joe real quick. Probably two. Now, you can use bigger buns than this. We're going to come over here. And uh, he likes pepper jack cheese, so... Since this ain't little kids eating sloppy joes, this is adults, we're going to put pepper jack cheese on it. That looks pretty good. And we've got some potato salad to go with it. And some baked beans. And you know what? I know that we're going to have baked beans left over. And I will cool them off and put them up 
and have maybe uh, beanie weenies or sausage and, we or, and beans or something later. So it won't go to waste. It'll be another, another supper for us. So y'all come over to the table and we're going to sit down and we're going to taste it. Now, you know when you eat a sloppy dough, it's supposed to be sloppy. So you can get it on you. Understand that I will have it all over my mustache and beard. Yeah. Save it for later. So we get to try out sloppy, sloppy Joe. Joe. We ain't had one in a long time. Mmm. Pretty good sloppy Joe, ain't it? Better than what's in the can. Oh yeah. <laughs> I sure thank Miss Vicky from Vicky's Country Home. Yeah. Reminding us that we hadn't had sloppy joes. I know it. In a while. We do eat them, but it's been a while. I'm not sure. She may have a video making her her sloppy joe recipe. I'm not sure, but y'all go look and see it at Vicky's Country Home. Yeah, thank you, Miss Vicky, for giving me the idea. Because, you know, sometimes you just wonder, you're tired and you go home and you're like, I really don't want to cook, but we got to eat and something fast. And you pretty much had all these ingredients. When are we ever tired? <laughs> every, <don't> day. <laughs> every day. Every <laughs> day. We're tired every day. We want to take a nap about noon every day. I know when that alarm clock goes off at 430, I'm like, oh, here we go. We was at yesterday, Sundays. Sundays were tired and we won't take them out. We were grandbabying all weekend. But that's the Lord's day, you're supposed to take it easy. Isn't that right? Yes. I hope y'all like this recipe. It was just a, a simple, easy recipe for days that you don't want to have to drag everything out and make a big old supper. And you don't even have to have baked beans and you just have chips or whatever. Anyways, I hope you like this recipe. And uh, we got more coming stuff. We don't really have a whole lot going on right now outside on the homestead, do we? The garden's about burned up. Garden and... It's 120 degrees every day. <laughs> it's pretty hot. It's supposed to be hot and dry all week. Yeah. And it's getting dry. It's been a couple of weeks since we've had rain. But that's going to change in a couple of weeks, I'm sure. It's going to get better. You can. The leaves are starting to fall. It's, it's, it's fixing to change. It is. So, y'all come back and see us and uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because it really helps us and uh, y'all make a sloppy joe for supper. We'll talk to y'all later. God bless everybody. And thank you for watching Whipper Wheel Holler. <laughs> That's right. Ha <laughs> ha